All right, guys, so I have another um, DIY here for you. This is going to be pretty quick, pretty simple, too, I think. Um, I was going through the Internet a couple days ago just looking for some inspiration on stuff that I wanted and, you know, wanted to make or whatever. Came across this one. It was really easy. Thought I could do it pretty quickly. So I did kind of prep a little bit beforehand, so this isn't like a super long boring video <laughs> so um these are just regular like vegetable and fruit cans that's all they are um and what i did was i did the galvanized look on all of them and i did kind of rust quote unquote rust these out a little bit um i do have to finish rusting these so i can kind of show you how i did that um and i thought it was just really cute something you know that can definitely be used and when I'm doing like edges and stuff I use a makeup brush I know lots of people lots of you know crafters and DIYers do this so it's nothing you know that I came up with but it is so much easier and it works so much better and you know helps trying to keep it together here so I'm just gonna make this look like it's rusted and just kind of go around all the edges real quick you kind of get it outside of the rim it's no big deal because it just looks like it was used uh, or like it was rusted so it's not a big deal um and like i said just gonna go around real quick kind of get the edges all rusted and then um that's pretty much it i just wanted to welcome everybody um, like i said i'm pretty new to the YouTube, you know, videos and all that stuff. I'm not definitely not new to crafting. I've been crafting for years. Um, and now I just, you know, figured why not share it with people and, you know, anybody who might want to learn some new things or get some uh, inspiration. And please, you know, I don't, I haven't gone out. I have a huge, huge stash of stuff. Um, so, you know, at the moment with everything going on, I'm not encouraging anybody to go out and shop um, or go out just to buy crafts. These are cans from dinner the other night. So definitely, you know, something that you can you can make with stuff that you have at home. Um, and it's easy, pretty quick. Like I said, I just did the, the galvanizing. And if you want to um, see a video on how I did that, just go ahead and comment so that, you know, then I can just do a whole video on that. Or if you have any, you know, want to see anything that I do specifically and see like a separate video or whatever, just comment below. I did have to go out to the stores today um, because, like I said, we do have a family of eight so we do and I'm just I'm sorry I think I'm out of the camera shot there but I'm just going along the edge here with the makeup brush with the brown I'm using um, this is called deep brown but I know a lot of people use just there's I think it's called I don't know what it's called brown oxide or something like that I'm not really sure but that's the one I've been using and I like it because it kind of looks like rust to me um, and always dries really well as far as like the color. So that's why I keep using them. And I think I got that from the Dollar Tree. But anyway, I did have to go out shopping. There's a lot of us. We ran out. I don't know how this happened, but we ran out of toothpaste. So I had to go get toothpaste. And I did run and um, grab a few things. And I reuse the same brush over and over again so this is one option is using doing the galvanized which is what I saw in the picture that kind of inspired me now if you want to go for a different look I painted a can white um, it probably looked better spray painted but it was cold and rainy so I haven't been able to go outside and do that but you can always do this and then go around the edges with the black and then you'll have that enamel look to it. So that's another option if you don't want to do galvanize or it doesn't really go with your decor. Or you can really go with any color. If you're, you know, your kitchen's red, go for it. Paint it red, 
Do whatever you want to do. It's your kitchen, your decor, you can do whatever you want. So, just giving you a couple options here. This is just kind of, I had an extra can. And actually the picture that I saw had four cans. I'm only going to use three because I kind of have an idea of what I want to use it for. And three cans worked out just fine for me. So if you want to do three or four, I guess you can do as many as you want. So if you can do that and galvan, I mean, uh, make it look like it's enamel. That's another option. Just do the bottom. And then you'll have another if that goes with your decor. So, all right. So, oops, I forgot it was wet. All right. So we did that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn them over. We are going to... I'm actually going to take them off of this paper so that I can kind of get a better, better even. So we're going to do that. I just took some craft sticks. These are the ones from the Dollar Tree. These are the, I've had these for a while. I don't really use craft sticks a whole lot. I'm trying to use them more now. Um, but I just cut them down to fit inside here. And like I said, I did a lot of the prep work in advance just to kind of make the video a little bit shorter. My last one I think was just way too long. So cut this one down a little bit more. So we're going to do that and then, ah, where'd it go? I had a little circle piece of wood here it is. I don't know what this came off of but it was just a circle wood piece. I must have pulled it off of another project that I did. But you can use anything. You can use another popsicle stick and, you know, cut it to it. You can do it this way. Put them three. You can do whatever you want, but I just want to add a little support down here. So I'm going to put some hot glue on all of these. And, of course, as always, if you want this to, you know last longer or be more durable e6000 or some super glue or whatever will definitely hold it better but for you know i'm not going to use this all the time or whatever so that's that so then you know, hold that down then let me if i can get it off here ah, i want to take it off because I'm going to take a wooden dowel. This is just the ones from the Dollar Tree. I thought I had the bag, but I don't. Um, these are just the wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree. I cut it shorter so that it would fit better. But if you don't have dowels, I was figuring if you have these spoons. I got a bunch of them. I was trying to do some wood burning on them. These were my pra practice ones. But you can cut the stick off of these. Um, if you have skewers, you can tape them together or whatever. Um, so that's that. So then I'm just going to glue this skewer into the middle of this thing here. Let me add some more glue there on the bottom so it stays. Makes it more stable. Just hold that there till it dries. Or not. There we go. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can, and these were, like I said, these were green beans. Um, I made green beans and mashed potatoes the other day. And um, we go through four cans of green beans in a meal. So <laughs> these were the cans for that. I didn't even clean that off, but um, we're going to let that dry. And then the ring that's on the top. I think I'm going to use this. This is those little binder rings that you get at the Dollar Tree. Um, but you can use the napkin rings if you have anything like that. Or if you don't have anything else, you can use a milk. This is like the lid. I mean the little ring from the milk jug. Ah, no, avalanche. Real life here, real life. Okay, I guess I should hold it, huh? Um... So yeah, then if you don't have anything like that, you can get like this floor wire that I have. I haven't even opened this one. I've had it forever. Bought it for a project and didn't end up using it. 
that you can cut this off and make a ring with that. Um, you know, be creative. Anything you have around the house, I'm sure you can find something. This is not standing up here. All right, so I paused that for a minute because it wasn't sticking up, but it's finally staying. So now <clears throat> you're just going to take the cans. Oh, this glue sticky. You're going to take the cans and you're just going to glue one can on each um, craft stick here. Just kind of make sure it sits in there. There. Okay. So maybe I put too much glue. We'll see. We'll see. Should be okay. Uh, I think it'll be all right. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, because then I'm gonna pull them this way. Hmm. I don't know. I think it'll be all right. Nope. Did I put too much glue on that one? Probably. It's okay. It'll be alright. Okay. So, oops. Ah, no. So, so, see, things don't always work out quite the way that you want them to, but it's okay. <laughs> It'll still be fine. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep putting glue on the leaves. Glue this one down. Maybe do do do. So you just kind of work with it and. Put them in there however you want them. There we go. Oh, I was going to tell you, real life here. There we go. <laughs> so, then if you want, uh, I think that's actually fine. There we go. Yep. Okay, I'm not going to put it on my table right now, though, because the glue is still a little bit wet. So then, you're going to... Take this... And... Glue that on top there. Now, one thing that I'm not happy with is, well, actually, I think it's okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. You have to just be careful with it because right now it's still kind of wet. But um, I would turn it over. I just add some more glue in there once you get it where you want it. Add some more glue underneath there and then fill in all the little gaps. You're not going to be able to see the bottom, so I'm not worried about it. I just want it to hold together there. Um, you know, if you can see me filling the gaps here, I'm sorry. I got to get used to this whole camera view. Just add some more into all these little spaces so everything holds together. All in there. So all those little oops, all those little gaps there. Get those strings. And again, I use Gorilla Glue, Gorilla uh, Glue Stick. They're my favorite. Um, they're the only ones that I use. I don't think I've ever really used anything else. So, there we go. Now you can, if you like, you can glue 
the tops together, which you know what? I might actually do. Let's see. Is that a little better? Nope, oh, that's good. All right, so I think I will do this. I'm going to glue it together. I don't have anything. Oh, no, it's going to pull my tape. I need to get the paint off. Um, hmm. I usually have clips and all kinds of stuff. So, hmm. Okay, so I was able to find some um, clothes pins. That was the closest thing I could find to clips. So I am going to just put a bit of glue in the middle here and glue these together. Kinda want them to hold together. Please excuse the clothespin there, but <laughs> it's what I had handy. And we're gonna put some more right here. Should I go all the way back? Yeah, I think I'm gonna Doo -doo. Close pin in there, pull it together, and then do -do. Purple. Close pin, and then that kind of there. It's got a lot of glue on it. It's very messy. Usually, I'm not this messy, but. It is two in the morning, or later now, and so yeah, just doing what we can do here. All right, so while that's drying, um, I don't know, shouldn't take too long. Now, of course, you can, you know, fix this up however you want to, probably add something under there so it's more even. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to have to add something under there. Hmm. Let's see. That's the problem with not being in my craft room. I don't really have everything at my disposal, but I can improvise here. If you cut it from both sides, then it won't crack as much. So kind of go halfway through and then go on the other side. And it, oops, and it won't crack as much. Let's see. Nope, I mean split, not crack. You know what I mean. Pull it. It's a little uneven. I think I put too much glue on it. But all we gotta do is just add a little something to give it some height on one side. You can always fix it. If you have feet, like little feet or the little wood, little wood piece squares, you can use those, which make way more sense. Let's see. If I put these under here, this will definitely even it out there. So you can put little feet on there, lift it up, and then that'll be like a pedestal there. Alright, so I grabbed some things here. So if you have little legs, you can use legs and glue them on there. I think that's what I'm going to use. But you can use the little wood cubes. You can use Jenga blocks, I would guess. You can put one on each little corner there. Do that. Um, I'm going to use these 
legs here. I'm going to put them on there. I don't know what I was thinking, actually. Kind of losing it. Like I said, it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> and I was going to paint it, but then I was looking and the wood, the natural wood actually matches the stuff that we have for like our outside decor, which is where I'll probably um, be using this here. So, this just adds a little something to it anyway. So that was a nice mistake there. Come on. And like I said, if it's something, you know, if you want it to be a lot more permanent, definitely use um, some E6000 or super glue or something like that, which I probably will go back and do, but for, you know, video purposes. This is supposed to be a really short video, and well, see how that went. <laughs> so, uh, what else do I have? Ta-da! Now it's even. Now it's even. I'm gonna have to do something to keep this from moving over here, but it's like I'm moving this way. Actually, it's not bad. It should be alright. I'm good with it. Now let's see if these stuck together. Yep. Alrighty. Finally. Whew. The quick video took a little bit longer than I anticipated and actually I think I'm gonna kind of um, dull down this top part a little bit here so I'm just taking some cuter gray and you can take actually what you need to do is take some chalk paint but it's okay that'll be fine and just take some cuter gray put it on there and kind of dull the that shininess off of it, just to kind of match the rest of it more. Do -do -do. There we go. And it's just so it kind of matches the rest of it better. Alrighty, so I think that came out pretty good there. Looks cute. I like it. And again, you can enamel it. You can make it white. Put them in there like that. You can do, you know, use what you have. Don't go out buying anything just to make it. Um, you know, most of us use cans at home. Most of us. Um, and, you know, can you use a dowel stick. Like I said, you can use a spoon. So this is what I'll be using it for in the summer outside and that's what I'm going to be using it for ta-da so and I wouldn't pick it up from the middle just yet especially if you haven't used anything but hot glue but there you go ta-da cute little utensil stand I'm going to do it this way alright so that's it peoples um, again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please share, please like. Um, the videos will get better, I promise. I can't edit anything right now. I can't really do a whole lot with the videos. I don't have the proper, um, computer at the moment. I should be getting it within the next few days. My computer just completely messed up on me. So, um, right now I'm just using what I have and that's my phone so um yeah so again thank you and please 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 come back and check me out and see what else I come up with I have a whole lot of ideas in my brain in my head right now so they should be coming to fruition quite soon all right so have a blessed one and stay safe and <clears throat> Be the reason someone smiles. Alright, bye.